this job. Guys, welcome to What's Barking Local. <laughs> this is on the I Love Seville Network. It's Wednesday. Yeah. Patty and I are having a good time. Patty <laughs> Zeller, that is. We'll welcome her to the program at T-minus 15 seconds. What's Barking Local, powered by Animal Connection for more than 20 years, proudly and successfully. Animal Connection and McIntyre Plaza has served the Charlottesville and Central Virginia animal community. Judah, let's go to the studio camera and welcome Patty Z to the show. I know hey. who Job is. <laughs> Good. You probably I, went to more church than I ever did. I went to. I grew up in Catholic school, Patty. Oh my Z. gosh! Well, there you go. Southern Baptist boy growing up in a Catholic school in Williamsburg, Virginia. What? Oh my gosh! But Southern often, Baptist. Southern Baptist in a Catholic school. Oftentimes, and, and you'll appreciate this because you're mischievous as well. Oftentimes, the ones that oh, are boy. raised um, in the strictest setting. Oh, go yeah. the furthest, um, you know, off the reservation. Does oh that, you gosh. know what I mean? My mother sat in the choir and she could look down on us. And we, we knew if we got that look, our Sunday afternoon was going to be toast. Right, right. <laughs> yep. So you know what oh, I mean. Oh, boy. Yes, we do. Um, it's a beautiful <laughs> week. It's a great day yeah. to be alive. Animal Connection in the spotlight. I tell you what, what an awesome, awesome week it's been so far. And uh, last week, I mean, you know, things are just rolling right along for us. And we're so grateful for everything that we've been given. And I just have to say, we, you know, we've been able to give away a lot of food to pet pantries and to the rescue groups. And then to people that we just let know, hey, guys, we've got extra food. Let your people know if they've got hard times. Um, they can come to us and we will give them canned food, dry food. Well, someone found out what we were doing and we got a huge grant. It's awesome. Um, so we could buy more food for them. And that's just been really great to see people come in and be able to share uh, what we have with the community. So, you know, you got you got to look for the bright spots. I mean, it's, it's a hard time for everybody, but gosh, being able to give back like that is just a whole lot of joy. It's yeah? the definition of social entrepreneur. I guess so. I guess Run a business be, right? in the black, right? but doing it in a way with those around you are left in a better place. That's right. Exactly. Uh, Mary Burkholt says hello. She's Yay. the founder of Caring for Creatures. She's watching now. Excellent. Erica Renee is watching. She's the founder of Green Dogs Oh, boy, Unleashed. she better be. <laughs> Live on 12 <laughs> Facebook pages here across <laughs> Central Virginia. On the I Love Seville Network. Okay, where are we going to go first? Videos? Well, we're, yeah, we're going to talk about a really fun contest. And we just decided that people needed to, to have a little more fun and a little more constructive fun with their pets at home. So, you know, today is National Superhero Pets Day. So we took a different spin on it. And we asked people, hey, what's your pet superpower? You know, whether it's a dog or cat, what do they do better than anybody else? And we asked people to send in videos and photos. Kids got into the act with drawings and stories, and it was just super fun to see all the entries. And we have some really good ones that we're going to uh, spotlight today. I love it. Right? Um, Judah Wickhauer is going to be tested here as we okay. play videos. Mary Burkholz, you're watching in Fluvanna. You know <laughs> all about this as we test Judah Wickhauer. Right. The show is yours. Well, let's start with the video of um, Gypsy. Gypsy's a good place to start. We're going to go from little to big. All right, Judah, Ready? play Gypsy in three, yeah. two, one. Gypsy. Okay. Okay. Did you get it? That's Gypsy. Gypsy. Gypsy is owned by Kelly Robluski, one of our really good friends of the store. And then, What's going yeah. on with Gypsy? Putting the thing I on mean, the head over there. I love it. Isn't that a cool thing? That is a cool thing. She, she, she's really good at doing that. And let's see. We could go to, next to, let's go to uh, Lulu Hutu, uh, a.k.a. Lucy, who is um, owned by John Floyd. Let's hear it in one? three. We're going to go to Lucy. Do you yeah. have that ready to go, Judah? We'll give him a little bit more of a heads up here. All right. Um, I'm excited for this video, Judah. We'll yeah. kill a little bit of time. Why are you excited about it? Well, hey, this is your across the street neighbor. Oh, yeah? Yeah, over at up, 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 um, the wine shop. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're The Market there. Street yeah. Market. Yeah. yeah. Judah, we'd right. love to see the video. Do you have it ready to go? Yeah. Play it in three, two, one. Lucy. <laughs> <laughs> How much time? <laughs> Can you edit them? I 
I have no idea. I think so. That's like the jaws of life right there. Isn't that funny? The jaws of life. I mean, just, and the creativity people are putting into these videos is really funny. We're going to save the last videos for last. I mean, the... For the end of the, the show or for now? No, for, for after this. Let's show, let's show some still pictures now. Right? Okay. Just some individual pictures. So, Judah, we've got Tracy Schaffer, and we could also pull up Mara Elizabeth. And the reason I want to put both of these up together is... Um, both of these ladies work with Cavalier King Charles Spaniel Rescue. Nice. And these are their dogs. So Milo is the black Cavalier uh, sitting all by himself. Looks like a little bat dog. They're on screen yeah. as we speak. Right? And then, um, then the Cavalier group, uh, she's dressed them all as different superheroes, which is really fun. And, it, you know, all these dogs have different stories to tell. And you'll find more information about that on the Animal Connection page. I love Batman. Yep. Um, and I love pets doing yeah. funny things in a COVID-19 landscape, which gives me a, an opportunity to think about fun stuff. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's what you're doing here. Yeah, I love that's it. that's right. It's just something different. Um, can we move on to Megan Johnston and her dog, Marco? Tell us about Megan Johnston and Marco as he's queuing up this those This dog photos. is talented. He's got the balancing act extraordinaire Ooh. when he's up. I mean, the only thing that's missing from that is he should have bark local bones on his nose rather than those bones. But, uh, <laughs> but, but, and those. we're going to make that happen for him. <laughs> I think his gift bag is going to have some different bones in there, but that's really nice. <laughs> rather than those bones. <laughs> that's right. We need different bones. Um, and then we've got Mary Burkholtz. Oh, she's watching. And her dog, Charlie. And Mary's a good friend of we yours and mine. We love Mary. And uh, she's the... Uh, owner of Caring for Creatures. The founder and this president. Is, yeah, this is her personal dog. And she says that Charlie <laughs> can do tennis balls like nobody's business. So, and there he is. Mary in also all his likes glory. Gypsy. Beth Dunlop Marcus watching the oh, program. Yeah. What up, Beth? Good to see you, <laughs> Beth. We love you, lady. Charlie doing some crazy things with a tennis ball in Fluvanna right now. That's right. And then we have uh, Robin Wheel. With her pack of Yorkshire Terriers. Ooh. And Robin, you know from Dogfest. Right. If there's on a, screen. Yeah, if, she's, if there's a contest in there, Robin's in it. And she comes <laughs> all the way from Richmond to participate. But this is Desi, Lucy, and Emma Grace <laughs> in their little superhero oh outfits. And, and we appreciate her enthusiasm. Aren't you, don't you get, yeah. you know, just absolutely excited when you launch a competition like this? Mm -hmm. And you get entries coming in. Oh, the first day. Isn't it? First it, hour. Isn't it invigorating? Oh, yeah. It's People exciting. Are on it. Right? Because, I mean, a couple of years ago, you'd have things like this, and maybe you'd get a it, few. It would flounder. Right. Yeah. But now people are home. They're looking for something fun to do. So we'll take it. We'll take it. We <laughs> That's will right. Take it. Uh, let's see. The next thing we want to pull up is Erica Proctor, homeschools four kids, in addition to running Green Dogs Unleashed. And, um, and having a superhero for a husband. Yeah, that's right. Her as a husband nurse. is in the nurse. Yeah. Uh, so she's been kind of running this family on her own for many, many weeks right, right now. And, and how documenting she, it well. Right. And how she does it, I have no idea. But anyway, she used this, um, this little exercise as a homeschooling assignment for all of her kids. And I mean, they put some work into it, all the kids. So, so the first thing is we'll... Uh, we'll show the photo uh, from Penn of the kid, Finn, of the kid's drawing. And you can go on our website and read it. But he's talking about his dog, Riddle. And, I love it. Um, he's got it on screen. Ah, he's talking yeah. about his dog, Riddle, and how Riddle does things better than anybody else's. And it was, it was a lovely little story. And, um, and so now we should go on to their videos, if, if you're ready, Judah. So we'll start with... The oldest first. This is Zoe and her cat. <laughs> so. All right. Give us some, give them a heads up. We got we to give them a little yeah, runway right. before we can get them on there. 
Ah, okay. Give us a snapshot on Zoe before uh, we play it. Uh, Zoe's just a big, beautiful yellow and white cat, and I mean Zoe is just, <laughs> she, she loves this animal, so <laughs> she's going to tell this animal's story. Deborah Hyman, welcome to the yeah. program. She says hello. Yeah. Beth Dunlop Marcus says Erica is not human. <laughs> um, she says I'm here, two margaritas with lunch today. I hope you guys are having Ooh, fun. Beth, ours? I love that. <laughs> where's ours, Beth Marcus? <laughs> where was lunch, Beth? Let us know where the margaritas were. <laughs> I think we need to go have lunch with Beth. <laughs> yeah, I bet you that would be fun. <laughs> it sure would. John Floyd says, yay, Lucy. Lucy, yeah. Lucy, Lou. So happy for Lucy from Lou, John Lou, Floyd. Lou, who, too. Yeah, right? that's what, yeah. Lou, yeah, Lou, who, who, too. <laughs> We're not sure what that means. Uh, yeah, play it in <laughs> three, ready? two, and one. Okay. Hi, my name is Zoe, and I am seven years old. Lennox is my super dog. Where does that rank? Oh, man, it's, it's right up there. I mean, right? I, I can't rank them. I mean, they're just all so well, exceptional. Did you have to rank them? No. Oh, actually, that's why you hedged. That's right. And I you did. made multiple winners. You I, hedged. I did. I made, exactly. You know, <laughs> how, could, how could you? You know, I, I'm not one for saying everybody gets a blue ribbon, but doggone it. <laughs> no right. Pun intended. Right. Dog Everybody, God. Dog God. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> what else do we have? Okay, we have one, two more, we've got right? two more. Yeah. So we're going to do um, Ollie's video, and Ollie is talking. Uh, you're going to have to turn the volume way up on this, people at home, because Ollie's very soft spoken. But you will recognize Killian. <laughs> The house cow. Killian the house cow, That's one right. of our favorites on What's Barking Local. Judy, right. you got it ready to go? Give it to us in three, two, and one. <laughs> so sweet. And Killian is, what's it, what do you call him? What do you call him? The house cow. The house cow. And why is the house cow a superhero? Because he moves. Because he moves? Like a cow? Yep. And you love him? Yep. And is he your best friend? You should have had Trey and your dogs. Yeah. Ten seconds. Yeah, Anything else you want to say about him? We got one no. lap right. <laughs> Patty, the house cow might be the chillest Precious. dog I have ever seen in my life. Precious moose, I tell you what. It was just... <laughs> Just chilling, yep. getting some sun. Is he cool? Having a best friend and chilling right That's next to you. That's a puppy. I know. That's a it's puppy. Amazing. I love it. I love it too. And so we saved the. Wait, wait. What we you, saved, we the, saved the what? The Hollywood production number oh, for last. I thought you were going to say the best for last. No, 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 no. We, okay. saved, we saved the Hollywood production number because you know Erica, she's not going to do anything halfway. <laughs> and she's got all the kids involved in this last video. And you are just going to love it. I've been laughing. Do you have this video this ready to go? Yep. This is Animal Connection in Hang McIntyre on, Plaza. People. You might want that third margarita, Beth Marcus. <laughs> Beth Marcus, get the margarita and the tequila ready. <laughs> Judah, how long is this roughly? 52 seconds. It's, it's We're ready, one. baby. Play that one. <laughs> this is the cat dog. Our mom said she's a foul mouth superhero. His superpowers are using inappropriate language, such as We gotta figure out a theme. Noise, and why the f are you talking to me? You can use bad words oh, yeah. and adjectives like, like happy we for birthday. Oh. Now I'm like, I'm going to the f Verbs like you I fing love She said what? She can hear us. As exclamatory statements such as oh, Okay, we're whispering. It's, it's pretty that's okay, remarkable Beth. if you ask us. We won't say anything to risque. <laughs> fudge fudge, 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 fudge. It's pretty fudge and remarkable if you ask us. I love it. I love it. We have Erica Renee. Did that make your day? Or Erica what? Renee and Fluvanna. I really love the video, Erica. I love the interaction with Erica and Beth on the feed right now. Erica Renee Proctor and Fluvanna is saying, Beth, take a drink. Beth is saying, I'm home. Beth says, I already just did, Erica. Beth and Erica. And Beth goes, I can hear you guys whispering. Yes, I hear you.
<laughs> well, it all happens on What's Sparking Local. We have nothing to hide. Today. We have nothing today. <laughs> to any day. Any day, really. This show is a free spirited show. Oh my I gosh. I think videos will be a new addition to the program. I think so. I mean, they're they're super fun and I just love seeing the creativity and and you know, who knows? We could be one of those crazy video shows on on uh, America's funniest home videos. Who knows? Bob I mean, Saget was the best host. Oh He's yeah. He's my he favorite. He was so host. dry. Yeah. Um, uh, can I ask you? Ask me. With Charlottesville watching about the brain, uh, what you have cooking? No. No? We're going to leave it aside. <laughs> We're going to leave it aside for okay. now. But, you, know, you know she's got an idea I, I hopping, do. guys. I, I have a, a side business in the hopper, and we have to wait. I will let you know when you can blast it okay, to the world. Because I want to. But I gotta, and the reason I want to is because I know yeah. a little bit more than most, and I'm excited for it. Right. I'm excited, too. But it's, you know, it's got all the pieces have to fall into place, because we don't want to let... The cat or dog cat, out, of out of the, the bag. back. Right. Pun intended. Right. Dog exactly. Uh, you know, until we're ready to go with it. But we're getting close to getting some answers. And I would say by the end of May, we, we'll be able to say something super huge. What is that Donald Trump says? It's, it's huge. huge. It's huge. Yeah, it's huge. huge. So, H's are wise. It's that's huge. Right. Huge. So uh, uh, get we'll, ready, we'll Charlottesville and Central Virginia. We're going to leave um, it at that. We have photo. You're right. We have a, we're going to move on to phase two now. Yeah. So we like celebrating these days. I mean, if you want something inspiring, just go to that day calendar. You'll get some great ideas. But um, tomorrow is National Rescue Pet Day, National Shelter Day. And we decided that, you know, we've been doing a lot with the shelters recently. I mean, getting a lot of food to different groups that, You've been that have been eating it. it. Right. Yeah. And, but You've we, been stepping up. Right. We have. And um, we wanted to do something a little different. We wanted to really honor the people in Charlottesville that are making a big difference in the lives of rescue pets. I mean, big groups, small groups, there are a lot of players out there that we just want to call some attention and thank them for what they're doing to help so many animals. Okay. So let's, you ready for my list? Yeah. Okay. So. I'm ready too. The first thing we want to show is, this is a picture of. The I Love Seville mascot. The I Love Seville dog. The I Love Seville mascot. This is Liza. And Liza's been one of my favorite dogs for a long time. On screen now. That's right, on Liza screen. Liza is an amazing dog. She came from Caring for Creatures. She was featured in one of my long time ago Scout Guide ads. And she's very special. And she belongs to Judah Wicktower here. Our director. That's right. And she comes to work with him every day. And it just goes to show Thanks you. Thanks to his fabulous boss. That's right. Well. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that's right, Patty. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, well, I'll give you that one. Okay, okay, okay. We did have to talk you into it. Sorry. But, uh, but anyway, it's, it's just nice to see what happens to animals that have been, you know, on the rescue front for a long time, and then they get to come out. And she, you know, she just makes everybody that comes in here feel so welcome. I mean, gosh, she even jumped over the desk one day to she's come amazing. say hi to me. So she's she's out there. Liza, you yep. are loved. And she Judah, is. you scored. And Mary Burkholtz, you helped make this happen from she Caring did. for Creatures. And Patty, you are a lot of ways a matchmaker as well. Oh, pshaw. It was but, amazing. But yeah, it just worked out just right. Mary Burkholtz says, Liza, we love you. You are the best. She is. Beth Dunlop Marcus says, Erica, you're the daughter I never had. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I like when Beth has some margaritas. Oh, my gosh. So, so moving on, um, we also want to mention the people in the community that help make our efforts to help rescue groups just a little bit easier. And I want to shout out to Dave Warwick, our buddy at Three Notch Brewery. He helped us put together the Big Dog Blondale, and through Dave and Three Notch Brewery, there were some funds that were able to give to rescue groups during our Dog Fest. And, um, you know, Dog Fest is on the calendar for the last weekend in September. You know, we're hoping we're going to have it's it. It's going to happen. So I'm, I'm, I've got fingers and toes crossed it's going to happen, but we want to say thank you to Dave for all that he does. Uh, to make things like this happen. And his wife, Michelle, has been very involved with the SBCA in previous years. And I want to um, say thank you to Dave for the Minuteman from Three Notch. Oh, Friend. yeah. And I have three to four of those <laughs> a night for you. Uh, oh. It's fabulous. <laughs> it is good. Judah said this picture's on screen right now. But thank you, Dave. Boyd. Yes. And I, I'm ready for nephology the, with the grapefruit. That is really good. Yeah. That's really I, oh, good. Boy. Because it's a special each one, right? Mm -hmm. Each season, it's a new release. Yeah. And I yeah. like grapefruit and IPA just works for me. So I'm, I'm excited about that one. So then we want to move on to Miet Michi. 
Ooh, right. Head photographer of That's the stars. Right. She's not only of the stars, but she loves taking pictures of all kinds of dogs. And she goes to some of the rescue groups and takes these beautiful, uh, heart touching pictures of, that get right to the soul of what the dog or the cat is all about. And, you know, she, she donates her time when she comes to do photos for the store. She donates a portion of the proceeds to rescues. And it's people like her that, you know, will participate in an event with us uh -huh. and then give back. You know, people like that are very important. She's so. come on this program. She's she committed to her craft. She, she is. Betters her betters herself. I really saw Mia Michi be a warrior at Dogfest when she oh was my not 100% up to speed from her health. Well, she wasn't, and she was getting heat stroke, getting and it was 100 stroke, degrees, and she, and she still she made magic happen. She did. So, you know, we want to shout out to Mia. Well, I like what you're doing with today's show. So, <laughs> you know, and these are in no particular order or rank or anything. Um, our next pictures of our Stacy Norris. Yes, 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 the House and Project. And some of the House volunteers. And if you don't know about House, it's called Houses of Wood and Straw. What's got up? it. We got it, Judah. Right, Stacy. Yeah. Right. And there's a, I think there's a picture of some of the volunteers of the van, perhaps. Um, but they go into situations where maybe the dogs are tied up or oh. they don't have... Uh, Great quality of life. Uh, right. And yeah. they help and they provide housing and fencing and get the dogs off chains if they can. They also provide some pet food around... Pardon? The van is up, Judah. We got oh, it. You and the just van? Give us the thumbs up. Great. Okay. So, uh, and they have so many volunteers, including our own Mark Malin, who's yep. our store manager. He helps them out on Saturdays when he's able. Let's see. The next picture is going to be Barry and Kathy Kravansky. Yes. Watching the program. The Kravanskys, I tell you what, if there's something going on, they just step in to help. I mean, everything from coming to pick up food for. Uh, caring for creatures, green dogs unleashed, anybody that needs it, they will help. They come in, they donate, they buy things to donate. They build these wonderful raised um, bowls and feeders that have a silhouette of your dog on them. They do this to raise money for house. They are just like the super people. And with those uh, Easter bunny ears, how can you not love them? <laughs> yeah, you Especially know. you, Kathy. Love you, lady. <laughs> love you, Kath. That's right. Um, our next picture is of Kimberly Hawk. Yes. You know, Kimberly Hawk is super busy right now. She not only is involved with Dogs Deserve Better Blue Ridge, but she received a special grant uh, to buy hundreds of dollars of pet food that she has been taking to Buckingham, Fluvanna, Harrisonburg, uh, all these different places for human pet pantries and giving them pet food that they can share. And just what a big effort she's made to get pet food to people that are, are experiencing some hard times right now. We, oh. And we were so thrilled that we could help her acquire some cat food that she was using as part of the pet pantry effort. Beth says so, we live in the best animal community in the world. Beth, we agree most certainly. Let's give some love we really to do. Camelin Leon watching the program. Hey, Camelin. All Kathy, right. Kathy loving what she's seeing. Same nice. as Mike McLothan loving right. what he's seeing. Nice. And speaking of Beth Marcus, <laughs> we, uh, we're, we want to shout out to Beth Marcus. Uh, she raises a lot of puppies. She whelps puppies. Um, she raises them for the SPCA. She works with green dogs. She's just kind of everywhere. And she's just like the foster mom extraordinaire. And um, I love yeah. Beth since we've become friends on Facebook. You <laughs> and, came on this show very modest. on What's Barking Local and you crushed it, Beth. You were amazing mm -hmm. on the program. And then since you've come on the program, we've become mm -hmm. friends on Facebook. And I right. love watching Beth's videos. We, we'd love for her to come back. Of dogs at her home. That's right. They have... Absolute autonomy, it seems, mm -hmm. of the house. Mm -hmm. And she's behind she, the camera she's got a filming whole wing and she for loves the dogs. it. Right, exactly. Yeah. yeah. And she, she says she margaritas. has 12 right now. Yeah, that's right. So, this is just some of the puppies that she has. Uh, I guess they're going to be available for adoption soon. Then. Let's not forget our buddy Clay. Right. How can we forget Clay and We've Brent? got, right, Clay Heisel and Brett yeah. Jakes. Yeah. So, they raise, they are, all right. They've had a lot of rescue dogs at their home, but I think they're probably most recently famous for Della the Great Dane, yes. who they brought into their home to foster, and then, whoops, 
she's going to have 12 puppies. <laughs> <laughs> and um, sure enough, she, they did. They whelped the puppies. They raised them. They, they started training with them. All of them were named after a different kind of beer. That's right. Which was really fun. Yep. And um, Clay was the beer guy at Draft Tap Room. That's where I met yeah. him for the first time. Yeah. One of the most knowledgeable beer guys I know. Yeah, and I know that the anniversary of these, uh, the puppy's birthday is coming up in June. And I think Erica mentioned something about a birthday party for these dogs. And gosh, I hope it gets to happen because I want to be there. I think that'd be just a really fun party. And we have, and we're not saying the best for last, but we have two and three, three very good ones from Jacqueline Myers, Mary Burkholz, and Erica Proctor. That's right. And, you know, these two, these three ladies, I mean, Jacqueline Myers runs Peaceful Passing Senior Pet Rescue. Mary Burkholz, for 30 years, is it? 30 plus years. Yeah, 30 plus years. Yeah. She has run Caring for Creatures Senior uh, Pet Rescue and Sanctuary, and then Erica Proctor, Green Dogs Unleash, you know, dogs with special needs, uh, it's all amazing. kinds. Yeah. It's amazing. So, you know, we, we really wanted to shout out a lot of the people that are players. There's so many, we can't name them all, but we, we uh, contacted Jackie job. and Mary and Erica, and we have a list of some of their volunteers, and we have a special certificate that we're sending out to people to thank them for what they do for the Charlottesville pet community. And it's from Animal Connection, What's Sparking Local, and I Love Seaville. Wow. Yeah. And Jacqueline nice. Myers, yeah. Mary Burkholz, and Erica Proctor yep. are flipping on screen. Common <laughs> characteristics of these three ladies that you've seen. Oh, just, well, tireless, uh, giving, enthusiastic, resourceful, positive. Enterprising. Enterprising. All, yeah. I mean, all of the good things Leaders. it takes, right? Yeah. Uh, just everything it takes to really run a very successful rescue group. I mean, and just to be, I'm going to cut it straight up, say it, not only what it takes to run a successful animal rescue, but just to be like a good person and a winner in life. That's right. Just to like, exactly. You know, yep. some people got it. A thousand percent positive. Right. You know, even when times are really tough, there are a thousand percent. There's an opportunity That's right. for hope or survival or something. Exactly. And there's so many lessons to be learned from that. I mean, there's always a way if you go look for a way. So uh, You embody those qualities. Thank you. <laughs> we try. Resourceful. <laughs> so, uh, so we, you know, I, I do have some gifts that are going to Erica and Mary and Jacqueline because, I mean, they are just like the superstars of the local pet rescues right now. And... Um, we also want to say thank you to the Companion Animal Fund because they gave us a grant, uh, an unheard of grant. Uh, they said it was more than they give to a lot of other people, but it's allowing us to buy more pet food for the, the pet food pantries and for people that are just walking into our store off the street and saying, I heard you have free pet food. I need help. So we, we have... And you're getting that. And we're getting it. Yeah. So, you know, between our suppliers and between this very nice grant, we're just, we're so thrilled we're able to help people that really need it. And it's not easy to ask for help. It's not. I mean, when you... You're seeing it. Y yeah. When you, it's different. When you have someone that walks in and they have a different look on their face, they're not coming in just to get a free sample or a free cookie or whatever. They need help. And you can see it in their eyes, and they just, they can't even believe it. It's like, wow, you guys are really going to give me pet food? I'm like, yeah, we really are. But, wow, I don't have to buy anything. I don't have to do anything. No, we are giving this to you because you're a good person, and you, need, and you need to feed your animals. That's awesome. And, um, yeah, it, it will move you. Patty, um, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to toot her horn a little bit. Along with doing that, Patty has asked anyone or has welcomed, has welcomed anyone that has lost their job in restaurants in Charlottesville and Central Virginia to come to her store, Animal Connection, mm -hmm. and she will help feed the servers and the cooks and the busboys and the dishwashers and the hostess and hostesses that don't have work but right. still have animals that need to be right. fed. We, we, have, we have food to share, so let's share it. You're getting love from yeah. a lot of people. Mary <laughs> says, thank you, Patty, for being a partner and saving the lives of animals across Central Virginia. Well, Pamela Mitchell is giving the heart emoji on the stream. Oh. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> I love, I love, and I get, you know, I love this stuff, as you know. I love the run the business profitably, but in a way that's good for the community. Well, you know. They could go hand in hand. It does. And, you know, I've said this before. I'll, you know, I, I really try to preach what Animal Connection is all about. And we, we're not just a retail store. We are a connection, you know, whether it's con connection to 
pet health or services or whatever you need or finding the perfect animal for your home, um, you know, whatever it is, we, you know, we're the connection and that's how we started almost 20 years ago. And that's what we, that's what we do every day. The, really? The water cooler, the sounding board, <laughs> the, the, uh, dry erase board, the cork board for oh, animal boy. <laughs> use in the community. Um, I, I've, I've been itching to pull this out of you. Um, but you've been vocal about this on social as you should be, mm. as I have been the PPP program. Okay. Because you got some <laughs> thoughts on this lady. I do too. Well, I'm just, I, you know, like all small businesses that haven't have, who haven't received a check yet. Yeah. You know. So let's emphasize right. that neither right. of our businesses have received money from the federal government. Right. Okay. That's right. And we're still surviving. We are. We're paying our bills, but you know, it could be. Boy, I sure would have liked to have that check this week so I could have paid rent and and my people. But you know, they they will get they get paid before I do, and I'm going to take care of my people first. So, but it, it would have been nice, and you know, I don't think the the second round has run out yet. It has not. But um, you know, I just I just wish there was more communication. You know, you the small branches of my bank, and I'll say it, BB and T Bank. You know, they can't answer any questions, and then you go to the regional office, and they say, "Well, we'd love to tell you if we could, but we can't." You know, I just want some communication. If I'm not going to get it, let me know so I can move on and do other things. But don't, don't keep it just hanging like that. It's very frustrating to not get any information. Yeah, I so I, I share the same. So, and equally as frustrating when you see Sugar Shacks, Ruth Chris, and the Los Angeles Lakers get money from the federal government, taking it from small business owners. Are you, I mean, come on. You saw I mean, that, right? I did. I mean, how they, well, first of all, how they ever decided it was okay to <clears throat> lump all the small, 500 people, is that a small business? No, that's not small Right. Business, yeah. Is 100 people a small business? No, I think that's not. Border, that's borderline. It should have been 50 or less. Yeah, right. Or 30 or less. I mean, I have three. That's yeah. all I'm asking for yeah. is three. I have three. So, one right. of them uh, is Judah right there. One of them's my wife at home. And the other one's me. Yeah. Yeah. So, right. So, so it's, and, you it's know, it's, it's very frustrating. We'll see what happens. And, you know, if that doesn't work, we'll go to plan B and C and D. We're not going to go to plan F because that would be disastrous. But, uh, <laughs> but so the reason, I answered, the reason I answered that question for the folks that are watching, um, you see what she's doing with the nonprofits. You see what she's doing with uh, her time and allocating her most precious commodity, which is her time. I ask anyone that's watching the show to respond by supporting the business. Animal Connection at McIntyre Plaza, please. Well, I would appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, that doesn't always mean send money. I mean, come by and just say hi. Just give us give a Give it a thumb. like on Facebook. Yeah, share it. Right. Share it up. Give us a like. Drive by in your car and honk the horn and give us a thumbs up or something like that. Just, you know, anything is... Mar a margarita would be nice. <laughs> Beth, Beth says, I think the banks are taking uh, care of the big customers first. Absolutely. And she's they right. Are. They get more points on the package with the back end interest, the larger the size of the loan. Uh, Mary Burkholt says, CFC tried and we did not get assistance yet either. A huge bummer for caring for creatures, but all the staff is still working and doing great work. Our bank has a lack of communication as well. But yeah. we will keep going as long as we can. Common denominator for a lot of people. Is this. Right. Yeah. Communication is is what's needed. But You're, you know, we have the same bank. Right. Union. So, but they're I no mean, longer a local bank. I know. They're, That's the they're problem. a big corporation, especially now. with the SunTrust uh, merger. I tell you what. The truest. If, if I had known the merger, that you would have moved. I would have moved to a smaller bank. Yeah, local. Yep, I thought about that. Man, I'm kicking myself in the pants that I didn't, but I couldn't reply for the second round. My, right. my, my paperwork's in the works. Yeah. But um, I'm sure going to remember that. So it's, it's frustrating, especially when they won't talk to you. Right. And they won't give you any information. And I don't mind sharing this. I mean, the, someone to answer the phone wouldn't even transfer me to someone that could give me an answer. And I said, now, wait a minute. I have been with your bank. With four, with two businesses and two personal accounts since 2002, oh. you owe me the respect and the honor to let me talk to someone that can give me an answer. Yes. And 
she huffed and puffed and she says, well, I guess I have to then, don't I? I went, yeah, you do. You have, you have to give me the opportunity she really to talk to somebody that, oh boy, I lost that my, frosted you know, my shorts. I, you handled that better than I would have. Well, I will remember that and I will be making some changes, Are I would sure? imagine. So, um, we yeah. learn a lot. We learn, we learn a, lot a lot in hard times. So, you know, I feel sorry for them too. They've got a lot. I don't feel real sorry, but I, I, I but see I what understand. you're saying. They, they're they're, they're overwhelmed. That's right. They're overwhelmed and yeah. they don't know how to handle it. They're not it. responding the right way. They're overwhelmed. Correct. Yeah. And this was also so, just like us, throw it on their plate. They you know, didn't ask for it. It never hurts to say, I don't know. I'll, I'll find out. Right. If that's the only two sentences you ever learn in business when you're answering the phone for something, say, I don't know. I'll find out. And, and get back to you. And do it. Yeah. And a sermon. <laughs> it's a good tip right there. Well, you know, it's a little bit, but it means a lot. Business right? owners that are watching, there you go. There's a very good, it seems so uh, elementary, but it's also something that's not practice. <laughs> and you'll learn stuff like that if I ever get my membership club going, practice. right? <laughs> oh, should we tease? <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> She's got a lot of irons in the I hopper. <laughs> She's an entrepreneur. Her name is Patty Z, Patty Zeller. And from 3 to 3.30, or today from 3 to 3.48, it's What's Barking Local, powered by Animal Connection. Right. Supporter. And please go, yeah, share all these fun videos with your friends. I mean, some of these will really touch your heart when, oh, when... People need this. I know. They want this right now. I'm expecting that one of all those Proctor children to just go viral. Share it up. Oh. You know, and she knows. And, and say thank you to the, the people that are uh, doing the rescue work that we mentioned, too. Just get on. Even if you don't know them, just go on a message and say, hey, thanks. Amen. That would mean the world to everybody. I would mean the right? world to everybody. And thank you to Jerry and Judah yeah. for taking care of all the videos and the photos, some at last minute. I'm going to straight up say thank you to Judah. And thank you to you guys for giving the opportunity for the rescue groups to have a voice on this show. It's important. They need it. It's funny how when you get a bunch of people in one room that are committed to doing well by the community, how good things can happen. Yep. And that's what's happened. That's right. What's Barking Local, Animal Connection, almost 20 years in the McIntyre Plaza. Support the business <laughs> that's given back to the community. She's Patty Zeller. Just go say hi to Patty Z. Come My name is hi. Jerry Miller, Jerry M. <laughs> this is What's Barking Jerry Local. Jerry M. That doesn't have the ring to it that no, Patty, Patty Z, Z does. Z is way better. <laughs> Patty Z is way better branding than Jerry M. <laughs> Jerry M is not a cool name. Patty so, Z is cool. Sounds like, do you remember that comedian, Morty the K? No, I don't From remember back, Morty, oh the God, K. Morty the K. Who the That's hell what it reminds Morty me of. K. That was way back in the, when Jimmy Durante and all those guys were Judah, around. Judah, do you remember these people? Morty the K. I'm going to find him for you. <laughs> Judah says this way before my time. <laughs> well, I am 61. It's cocktail hour, Beth. Cheers, lady. That's right. Cheers. All right. All right. What's Barking Local, Animal Connection, McIntyre Plaza. We will see you Wednesday at 3.15 or Wednesday at 3 o'clock. And I may That's get right. Patty Z into the <laughs> I Love Seville show because she's killing it. Oh, nice. Enjoy your it. afternoon. We should do it. I'll do it. Good no show worries. That. Thank you. Nicely done, Judah. Thank you, Judah. Whoo. <laughs> Uh-oh. We pulled it off. You did. <laughs> we pulled it off. You did. So, Jerry, you really want to do a